In the first demo in this series, I created a special type of SharePoint list called a KPI list that contains key performance indicators, or KPIs. A KPI is a visual cue that shows your progress against a predefined measure or business goal. For example, this KPI shows a total of all sales, the sales goal, and a status icon that indicates how close we are to the goal. In this demo, I'm going to create a dashboard page to display the KPIs. A dashboard is a web page that can contain a number of high-level visuals like reports, charts, and KPIs, business intelligence information that managers can use to help them understand the health of a business. I click the Site Actions menu. Because I created this site using the Report Center template, I can let Office SharePoint Server 2007 create a basic dashboard for me and then modify it the way I want. I add a title that will appear on the page and a file name. I'll also add a description. By default, SharePoint Server puts the dashboard page in the Reports Library, in the top-level folder. I want people to locate the dashboard easily, so I click Yes to add a link to the Quick Launch, and place the link in the Dashboard category. I'll keep the default layout. And last, I choose Do not add a KPI list to this dashboard. I'll add my own web part and list. When the new dashboard page opens, I click Edit Page. The dashboard includes a default layout. I'll add the KPI to the top left zone. I could scroll down to Lists and Libraries and select my Litware KPIs list and click Add. But this way, the web part displays the KPIs as a standard list. When I click Edit and Modify Shared Web Part, I see that I can only modify the content as a list not as a KPI list. I'll delete this web part and click Add a web part again. This time, I look under Suggested web parts for top left zone and select Key Performance Indicators. This is a web part used specifically for displaying KPIs. In the KPI web part, I click Open the Tool pane. Now, I can pick the specific indicator list I want to display. Because there is only one KPI list in this Report Center site, I go right to the Litware KPIs. I click OK. Then, I click Apply, and the web part opens the KPIs and displays the data. While I'm here, I can change the icons. Let's see what check marks look like. How about traffic lights? I think I'll go with that one. Now, let's see what happens when data changes in one of the lists. I'll go back to the sales list and delete the sale I added earlier. Back on the dashboard page, on the actions menu, I click update values and the values and status icon update to show the current state of the list. The Key Performance Indicators web part is the right one to use if I want to show all the information in a KPI list, but there's another type, and I'll add it to the top right zone. It's called KPI Details. This web part shows the details of only one KPI. I'll open the tool pane, and then click the KPI List Browse button. The Litware KPIs list is selected, so I click OK. Now I can select the KPI that I want to display. I'll choose Current Week. And for an icon, I'll select Flat. Then I click OK. The KPI Details web part shows all of the details, including the description, values, and a link to the sales list. The dashboard is beginning to look just the way I want it. The last thing I'll do is publish the page and check it in. As items are added to the outbound calls and sales lists, Managers can refresh the dashboard and use the page as a portal to see how the sales department is doing and link directly to lists and documents to track down all the details.